everyone, it's me, Miss Heather, and I am so happy that you are here watching our circle time. Our circle is so huge. It wraps around the entire earth. Can you believe that? That means there are special friends that we don't even know yet from all over the world. And I'm so happy that we can come together and learn and sing and do science experiments and so much more we can learn together. Okay, well, can you tell me what do I need to do next? Hmm, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh yeah, the great big red binoculars. Let's see who's here today. All right, let's see. I see so many friends out there. I see Callum and Shauna. I see Owen and Beckett. And there's Christina and Shelly. Oh, there's so many friends. I see Miala and Sola. Oh, I'm so happy my friends are here. And I'm so happy that our circle is so so huge. Well, can you tell me, is it morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime where you are in the world right now? <gasps> wow, so many different times during the day. Okay, well, if it is evening time where you are, your friends from our circle time are going to sing you a special song. Are you ready, everyone? One, two, three. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. Good evening to all our friends. Good evening to you and you and you and you and you. And good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all of our other friends all over the world. I'm so happy that we can do this simple, simple little activity to make people feel very special in their heart. All right, let's have a great R circle time. We are going to be continuing to build our letter sound and our vocabulary power again today. We are focusing on the letter F. Can you say F? Great job. Can you make the F sound? <gasps> Wonderful. Okay, I have some pictures with the letter F. Actually, the letter F is not in the pictures, but the names of the items in the picture have the letter F in them. So if you know what they are, Go ahead and shout it out. Here is the first one. What was that? That's right, that was a fireman at the fire station standing next to his fire truck. That's right. Okay, well here is the word fireman. Can you find the letter F at the beginning of the word. Great. And can you hear that it makes the sound when you say the word? Fireman. Wonderful. Okay, here is the next picture. Those are a bunch of animals. Do you know where those type of animals would live? That's right, they would live on a farm. And here's the word farm. Can you see the letter F at the beginning of the word? Great, and what sound does it make? That's right. Very good. Let's say the word again. Farm. Wonderful. And those are farm animals. Okay, here is the next picture.
What do you see in that picture? That's right, that's a family. And here is the word family. Can you see the F at the beginning of the word? Wonderful. Okay, now say family. What sound is that F making? You got it. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, here is the next picture. What is that? You got it. That's a forest. And here is the word. Do you see the F right at the beginning? <laughs> and what sound is it making? You got it. It's making the sound in the word forest. Have you ever seen a green forest like that before? It's really, really beautiful, isn't it? There are lots of green forests like that in the northern part of the United States and throughout the rest of the world. And I hope that you get to hike through or take a walk through a beautiful forest like that someday if you haven't already. All right, I am very proud of you. We built our vocabulary and we built our letter sound power again today. Good job, everyone. Since we are building our skills with the letter F, which makes the sound I thought we could sing a song about a hero that lives in your town. Actually, there's lots of these. And it starts with the letter F. Which hero am I talking about? Oh, that's all right, a firefighter. And here's the word firefighter. Can you find the letter F's in the word firefighter? Good job. It starts the word fire and the word fighter. And it makes the sound oh, wonderful. It makes the sound very good. Okay, do you love to see firemen? Me too. Firemen and firewomen are very strong and very brave. And they train very, very hard to be able to protect all of us. So when you see a fireman or a firewoman, make sure you give them lots of waves. They really appreciate it. Okay, let's sing this song about a firefighter. And it is almost like the song, I'm a little teapot. It sounds just like it. Well, I just learned it. So please be very patient as we sing this song together. Are you ready? Okay, it goes like this. I'm a little firefighter on the go. Here is my helmet and here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. Turn on the water and put the fire out. <laughs> Good singing. Okay, what was that that we put on our heads? A helmet. That's right. That protects the fireman's head when he or she goes into fight the fire. And what were we ho holding? A hose, that's right. And that sends the water through so they could spray it all over the fire. Okay, let's sing it again. Are you ready? I'm a little firefighter on the go. Here is my helmet and here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. Turn on the water and put the fire out. <laughs> Should we sing it one more time? Okay, ready? One, two, three. I'm a little firefighter on the go. 
here is my helmet and here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. Turn on the water and put the fire out. Great singing, everyone. We have a fun hands-on activity for you today. Okay, what letter have we been working on? Oh, that's all right, the letter F. And what sound does F make? Very good. Okay, well, I have a fun, which starts with F, fun. <laughs> hands-on activity for you today with foil. Can you say foil? Great job. Have you ever seen foil before? Wow, lots of you have. Where have you seen foil? You got it probably in the kitchen. Have you seen your parents wrap up food with foil before? Great. Okay, well, do you have some foil to work with today? Wonderful. We are going to be making the letter F with foil today. We are going to build it. And what we will need is foil. And I'm going to show you the big capital letter F, so we can build the capital letter F first. The big, tall, uppercase capital letter F. Okay, so grab a piece of foil. I'm going to grab my foil. I'm going to cut it straight across like this. So I have a good piece, just like that. And oh, we forgot. If you have your supplies, or you want to do this in the future, make sure you give your special adult a big thank you for helping you with that. Okay, here is the big capital letter F. All right, did you see that? It has very straight lines in it. Can we make that capital letter F together in the air? Okay, it starts up at the top and we go down and then back up to the top and across and then in the middle we go across as well. Okay, do you have your foil? All right, now really quickly, foil is really fun to work with. It makes lots of different noises. If you pat the foil, it's kind of like an instrument or if you crinkle the foil, it's like art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're going to build our capital letter F right now. So I'm going to fold, which has the sound right at the beginning. I'm going to fold the foil just like this so I can make my big first straight line that we just created. Here is my big straight line, just like that. Oh, I just thought of something. When I attach the other two lines, is it going to stick to this? Probably not. But if you have a stapler, you are welcome to staple it to this. What I think I might do is make my lines and then curve it around. Foil is really, really good about folding and attaching itself. So here's my big first straight line, just like that. And then I'm going to cut another piece. And this one's going to be smaller Fold it just like this. Now I have this smaller piece. See? 
here's my larger piece and here's my smaller piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. I'm going to place it right up on the top just like that. And then I'm going to connect it and curve it around just like this. And if you keep folding, it should stick on there pretty well. Look at that, mine did it. Okay, now I need one more piece. of foil. I'm going to fold it again. I'm just making little teeny folds. Just like that. And now I'm going to go just a little bit down just to about here. And I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of squish it together just like that so it locks it in. And now look what I have. I have the big capital letter F. <laughs> just like that. Okay, well this one I folded. But for the lowercase f, I think I'm going to squish it because I really want to try something new. Here's the picture of the lowercase f. Did you see that lowercase f? The lowercase f has a curve at the top. Can we make that together in the air? Okay, start over here. And we're going to go up and make a curve and down and now straight across the middle. Let's do that one more time. Curve and down and straight across the middle. Okay, well, this one I'm going to squeeze and roll. You can fold, you can squeeze it, you can do whatever you want so that you get something like this to work with, just like that. Okay, now what did we do at the top? We're going to curve it just like this, just like that. And now I have to get one more little piece for the center. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to squish it just like this. And you know what? Look, that's a little long, isn't it? So what I'm going to do because the lowercase f, that line does kind of go a little bit on this side. So I folded it in half. See that? I folded it in half and squished it on there. It's really amazing how foil works. And if you're using a stapler, you can staple it on too. Or you can squish it on just like that. Now look at that, we have an uppercase F and a lowercase F made out of foil. <laughs> Very good everyone. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that hands-on activity.